Most vegans want to share their message near and far, yet many don't know how to go about that. In today's episode of the Vegan Visibility Show, we interview Mitali, the vegan publisher. Mitali is the first to tell you that a book is your greatest megaphone. If you're looking for ways to really get your message out to market, a book gives you credibility, it positions your expertise, and you are considered an influencer. So stick around. You're in for a great treat as we talk with Matali, the vegan publisher. Welcome to the Vegan Visibility Podcast Show, where your host, Kathleen Gage, shines the spotlight on vegan and plant-based businesses and entrepreneurs from all walks of life committed to cruelty-free eating, healthy lifestyles, animal compassion, and the environment. Enjoy the show. Well, it is a great day when you are in the presence of two amazing women friends. And well, I have to say three amazing women, but today we're showcasing Matali. Matali is known as the vegan publisher. Before we get into her part of the interview, I want to say that I am Kathleen Gage, the vegan visibility founder. And I am joined by my good friend, my colleague, and my associate, V. Lynn Hawkins, who is the founder of Health, Wisdom, and Wealth podcast show. V. Lynn, take it away. Thank you, Kathleen. It is an honor to be in the presence of two beauties like the two of you. I'm just so grateful to be able to bring this to our Health, Wisdom, and Wealth show. We're always in powerful conversations for living your best life. And I know that as entrepreneurs, as women entrepreneurs, we're looking for those strategies that can help us to get there, to get there more solidly, more sustainably, consistently, and to show really who we are. And Matali, I know that you work with your clients in just that way, but give us just how did you get on this journey and what's your vegan story? I'm just fascinated by the vegan stories I've been hearing. Tell uh, us. Thank you. Thank you for that. So, okay, so great question. I'm going to try and keep this as short as possible because I could go on for hours. Um, so my family and I, we rescued a cat in 2010. I didn't even want this cat, to be honest. I just thought there's going to be fur everywhere in the house. I don't really want that. Um, and within the space of about two to three months, she demonstrated intelligence and sentience way beyond what I thought was capable. And then that sickening realization that cats don't even make it into the top 20 of intelligent animals. Uh, and we eat some of the more in, more intelligent animals than cats. Um, so I had to go vegan. It took about two years, but I went vegan. Regarding what I do as a copywriter, ghostwriter, and now as a book publisher, um, that was completely separate. I had nothing to do with my veganism. Now it sounds crazy. It's like, why would you not bring something that you're passionate about into your career, into your business? But I just didn't think that way. Uh, veganism was something I did on the side. It's in my personal life. And then I was a ghostwriter and copywriter and later a publisher. And that was how I make money. And that's it. But then uh, about a year ago, I realized that I was being silly. I, I had all of these vegan and plant-based and ethical friends, and they were all saying, why aren't you saying that you're a vegan in all of your, your business content? Even in your own book, you don't mention that you're a vegan. So I had to have a word with myself, basically, and I realized this is my purpose. This is what I should be doing. So I rebranded as a vegan publisher, and here I am. You know, you know Oh, oh, go ahead, V. Lynn, because there's so much to unwrap there. I know, and we're really hoping to keep these interviews short. But I just have to ask you, what is one of the biggest um, challenges that you've helped a client to overcome? Because I know you work with only vegan and ethical uh, authors, right? What's one of the biggest challenges you've helped them to overcome as they're getting into this authorship space? The biggest thing is visibility. You know, that's the key thing. Um, I mean, there's so many things you can do for visibility and they're all worthwhile, you know, whether you're doing search engine optimization, uh, social media marketing, all the different social media platforms out there, advertising, they all work. But there's something special about saying you're an author. 
it certainly still, even in 2022, in the digital world that we live live in, it, it's still something that people go, oh, really? Tell me more about that. You know, people will applaud you. People will send you a, a note congratulating you if your book is doing well on Amazon. I mean, imagine someone sending you an email because your LinkedIn profile is getting some buzz. You know, it's not going to happen. So there's something special that marks you out. I always say you can get 100 people of any sector, any industry on the planet, and chances are they all have websites, they're all using social media, they all have business cards, they all have all this business paraphernalia. But then if you ask them how many of you are a published author, you'd be lucky if you find one person, never mind two or three. That's the difference. A lot of people have heard that a book actually is a great foot in the door with a lot of companies, and it's a great way to brand your message. Um, how has you changing your company name from what it was to the vegan publisher, how has that changed your business and the way that you interact with your clients? Um, well, I was worried at first. My business uh, was originally called Let's Tell You Story Publishing. That that still remains my publishing imprint uh, because I work with a lot of vegan and ethical authors whose audiences are not quite there yet. Maybe they're flexitarian, starting to think in those terms, and having the vegan publisher on the back of a book might just scare them off a little bit. So I've kept Let's Tell You Story Publishing as the imprint that I publish under. Um, but I was a little bit scared. I, I wondered if I was niching down too much. I worried about whether, am I putting people off? The reality is that more people are now interested in my services than when I was less telly story publishing. Have I put some people off? I bet your bottom dollar I probably have. But now I realize that's a good thing. They weren't my audience. And also it's made my life easier. When I'm writing social media posts, when I'm writing blog posts, I'm writing from the heart. I'm writing about something I believe in. I have a true mission. I think the word mission has been sadly just taken. And now everybody on LinkedIn and Facebook is on a mission to do something or another. And it's right. just become a marketing ploy. And then you have people like us, vegan, ethical, sustainable experts who truly have a mission. Not, it's not a marketing ploy. It's a real mission. And when you have a real mission, you can talk all day about it. Absolutely. I, I know we only have 15 minutes. I can talk for hours. I can talk. I, I know. I know. <laughs> and and speaking of talking, um, and a nice segue from mission, one of my missions and V Lynn's mission and your mission is to help raise awareness about vegan businesses, about vegan causes. And to that end, we actually have the vegan visibility uh summit. And I want to encourage people to go ahead and sign up for the summit. It's absolutely free during the launch. And all you do is go to veganvisibility.com forward slash summit 2022 Matali. That's veganvisibility.com forward slash summit 2022 Matali. And that's M I T A L I. Go ahead and sign up absolutely free. And you're going to hear an incredible session by Matali. It's, it's just, she goes so deep. I have to say you, you are so um, thorough in the way you present information and we have 13 experts. It's going to be hours and hours and hours of information that you can listen at your leisure uh, during a certain period of time. And then if you want to upgrade, you can certainly upgrade and have unlimited access, get bonuses and some special support surprises. So with that, Vilin, what questions do you have about the summit and what uh, Matali is going to be covering? Well, I would love for Matali to just give us one or two really things that you're going to be focusing on during your session. Um, well, what I'm going to be focusing on is uh, quite interesting in that I may even put some people off writing a book. And the reason why is I want to make sure that the only people who write a book are the ones who get real return on investment. Uh, I think that's sometimes missing with some other book consultants and publishers. Let's face it, most of us would like to write a book, but is it actually going to give you tangible return on investment as an entrepreneur? So I actually go through how you can work out 
whether writing a book is a good idea for you or not. Now, hint, if you have a business already and your book is on that subject, then the answer is yes, and I will show you evidence of how that works. There's a lot of evidence in there regarding my previous clients and what they're doing with their books right now. But also, I hope it will demystify the book publishing world. I still think there's a lot of uh, cloudiness and still blurriness as to what exactly goes on. Most people know that writing a book is good for their personal brand, their business or their expertise. But there seems to be a missing gap regarding, OK, I've got the book. What on earth do I do with it? How do I go from where I am? to all those people that I see who are keynote speakers and they're on these podcasts and they're on these summits. Where's, how do I do that? And that's what I'm going to be covering. Excellent. Excellent. Beautiful. So when you, you talk to somebody about their book, um, what's one fallacy that people have that needs to be just shattered that, you know, here's what the truth is, because a lot of times people think that they just press a button and they're going to have success. And all three of us really encourage people to look at the foundation that you have to put in place and the fact that it does take work. Success is not something that just drops from the sky. It takes work. And you've been very strategic, Mitali, in what you've been doing, uh, using podcasts, for example, to promote your books. How many podcast shows have you been on oh gosh last count was 95 that's incredible but, um uh, there's three more i'm doing literally by the end of today so <laughs> yeah um so i'm gonna i'm gonna be close to 100 by the end of this well, probably in the next two weeks or so, next two, three weeks. That's absolutely incredible. And so really what you do is you walk the talk of, of what you do. But again, what is the uh, the myth that you want to shatter for authors? Well, you've pretty much hit the nail on the head. This idea that you can publish and the, the world will just stop turning and, you know, pay your attention. What writing a book does is it gives you quite possibly the the most powerful piece of content that you will have in your business, far more powerful than blog posts or social media posts or anything, because they're so ephemeral. They're here and then they're gone. I have people who've written books. I have the, the very first book that I wrote as a ghostwriter was over eight years ago. That gentleman is still levering the book today and getting keynote speaking gigs, talking all around America, uh, is a thought leader in his field. Eight years ago, I wrote that book for him and he's still doing it. So it's a very powerful piece of information. However, if you don't go out there and shout about it and lead with it, it remains, well, it becomes a, a very powerful secret is what it becomes. Absolutely. So that's the biggest thing I would say. You know, I don't know who it was that coined the phrase, build it and they will come. They were an idiot. Don't listen to them. You can build and build and build, <laughs> but they won't come unless you go out there and you trumpet it. It was it's a producer true. of a movie who wanted it's to make true. millions of dollars. And, and unfortunately, a, po a lot of people bought into that. So they build it and they sit there and they sit there. And they, and you help your clients really uh, get beyond that limiting belief. And in your session, I really encourage people to just sit there with a notepad and take notes because um, it, what I've seen you do with the vegan publisher brand has been phenomenal in since you rebranded with that. Just amazing things have opened up for you. You're getting awards. You're up for awards. You're speaking at VegFest in, in the UK. Amazing stuff. Vilin, in closing, what are your final thoughts and questions for Mitali? My final thoughts are, I have one question, and that is, Mitali, what is one thing that you can share that will really entice people to be at the summit, especially at your presentation? Gosh, one thing, visibility. <laughs> you need it. You know, I, I, I just said it before. You can build and build and build. And it's not even just building lots of things. You can build the single most amazing thing on the planet. I'm not sure what that would be, but you could build it and still not be successful. Because if no one knows that you exist, if no one knows how, how wonderful that thing that you've created, product, service, whatever it is, then you, you can't be successful. And also it's, it's not just about personal success as well. You are a vegan, plant-based, ethical entrepreneur because it's not just about making profits for you. You're wanting to create that ethical world that we all long to live in. If people don't know about you, you're not fulfilling your mission to the cause because the way I see it, our businesses, they are our activism. 
You know, my business, the vegan publisher, is my activism. So I'm out there every single day making sure it's the biggest success it can be, not just for personal success, although my ego is involved there, I'm only human, but I know that this is my activism. So the, the more I don't do that or the more I keep myself a secret, the less people I impact. That means a longer time before we get to that vegan, normal, ethical world. So you have to come to the summit because, I mean, a lot of these people who are in the summit, they are now my close friends, but I've actually implemented a lot of their strategies. Um, so you know, you're going to learn about social media. You're going to learn about graphic design and web design. You're going to learn about all the different ways that you can get more eyeballs on what you do because that is the first step. Without eyeballs, you're screwed. Pardon my language. But well, no, you are. You are. You're, you're sitting there holding a, you know, a dream in your hand, and nothing's happening. And I want to remind people to uh, go to this web address. It's veganvisibility.com forward slash summit 2022 matali go ahead and sign up i i encourage you to get in while you can and there's no cost during our launch and you'll hear matali you'll hear v lynn you'll hear myself you'll hear katrina you you'll hear sandra namoto and uh, uh, 13 amazing speakers what could be better than that with that i want to say thank you matali for all you're doing you are doing your activism uh any any of us who have businesses that are branded to the vegan brand we are doing our activism to help raise the awareness around compassion to animals the environment and to our health thank you so much v lynn in closing what are your final thoughts in closing this is a summit that you do not want to miss so make sure you go to veganvisibility.com forward slash summit 2022 Mitali, M-I-T-A-L-I. Wonderful. And be there. We'd, we'd love to have you to help you in this next phase of your business growth journey. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye for now. You've been listening to the Vegan Visibility Podcast Show. Be sure to subscribe to get notified when the next episode is live. And we always appreciate reviews. Join us next time for more inspiration, education, and motivation to build your business one cruelty-free and healthy person at a time.